Do I need to have my old SIM card to retrieve my WhatsApp account? Hello, welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to discuss a question that many of you have been asking, do I need to have my old SIM card to retrieve my WhatsApp account? This is a common concern, especially for those who've changed their phone numbers or lost their phones. But don't worry, we're here to guide you through this process. What's the role of a SIM card in WhatsApp? WhatsApp associates your account with your phone number, which is stored on your SIM card. When you initially set up WhatsApp on your phone, it sends a verification code via SMS to your number. This step is essential to confirm that you are the rightful owner of the number you've entered. So, you might think that if you don't have access to your old SIM card, you can't retrieve your WhatsApp account. But that's not necessarily the case. Can you retrieve your WhatsApp account without your old SIM card? The answer is yes. You can still retrieve your WhatsApp account even without your old SIM card, provided you can meet certain conditions. These include, 1. You know your old phone number. 2. You've backed up your WhatsApp data to Google Drive, for Android, or iCloud, for iPhone. Once you install WhatsApp on your new device, enter your old phone number during setup. WhatsApp will try to send a verification code to the old number, which of course, you won't receive. After this, you can choose the Call Me option, and you'll receive a call for verification. What if you can't meet these conditions? If you can't meet these conditions, you may need to start a new WhatsApp account with your new phone number. Unfortunately, without access to your old number or a backup of your old chats, there's no way to retrieve your old account. So, it's very important to regularly back up your WhatsApp data to prevent losing your chats and other information should you lose access to your SIM card. In conclusion, while your old SIM card can make retrieving your WhatsApp account simpler, it's not a necessity provided you've taken the right steps ahead of time. Make sure you know your old phone number and have a backup of your WhatsApp data. And if you're setting up a new phone number, remember to update your number in WhatsApp settings to avoid future problems. Thanks for watching, we hope this video has been helpful. Stay tuned for more tech advice and feel free to drop any questions you have in the comments below.